Hey guys, it's Stacy. We are at another stop along mine and Patty's ghost trip. That's what I'm calling it, a ghost trip, because definitely a misguided road trip, but you know, it's been, um, we're looking for ghosts everywhere. And today we are in Opelika, Alabama. Behind me is a covered bridge where a mother and her two children lost their lives. Not sure of the date, but I know what happened was the mother was leaving with the two children and they actually, the bridge, now this one has been rebuilt, but this bridge, the original, they were crossing over it and it gave way and their car went into the ravine below, which doesn't look real far, but I guess coming down in a car, it could do some damage. It ended up killing all three passengers in the car, the mother and the daughter. And then they reconstructed this bridge in 2007 as a memorial, I guess, to her. And there's, um, it's just a little great memorial site to her and her children. And you can see people's come out and graffitied up some of this bridge. They do say at dusk, if you put candy on the sides of this bridge and you turn your headlights on, you can see the apparitions of the daughters grabbing the candy. So, it's um, not that time of day and we're not going to be out here. We've got other places we've got to go, so we will not be out here that late to film that. But we did think it would be alright to come out here and look around and just see if we picked up some voices, see if we could get any EVPs going. This is a park they put in to remember this lady and her children by and um I guess maybe from what I understand this woman was really big into gardening so they made it a wildflower park now I could be totally off because I did not read that she was into flowers anywhere. Someone local told me about that. They said that, yeah, they put up a um, park in her name and that she was big into wildflowers, did the gardening thing, and that you could come out here and see all the wildflowers, see what they had planted. And so um, there he is. You can walk around out here and see all the wildflowers, different types of plants and bushes, and they have it all labeled. This is what was her house. She had apparently lived here. This is all that's left of it. Could not get a straight answer on the year she died. But this to me looks like it may have been like the porch, garage, carport area, and then those are the steps that possibly led up into her house. This is a public area, so there are people walking around and visiting out here. There's not a lot of people, but there are some people. I'm gonna sit here on the steps. Patty's over there. Is there anyone with us? The mama or those two beautiful children, are any of you here?
You can come talk to me. I'm a mom too. I can't imagine what you went through. I'm so sorry. Of course, from what I hear, it's better on the other side, especially if you're in heaven, so. I'm going to set this down for a second. Let's get out my meter. Now, if there is anyone with us, you can walk over and touch that meter. And it will go off. Sensing your energy. And let us know if you're here. It won't hurt you, I promise. It won't hurt you, I promise. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do EVPs. This may just be a short little video to add in with another one. I was trying to figure out if Patty is filming or what she might be doing. Let's try a few EVPs. Go ahead while there's no one here and see if we pick up anything. Anyone with us, you can use this box manipulate the weights and talk to us. Here we go. Is there anyone here? Is the mother or the daughter here? Who are you? Mom or daughter? What's your name? Tell me what year this happened. Do you like the candy that people put out for you? What's your favorite kind? But I like sweet tarts and bell breakers too. Maybe next time I can bring you some candy. I'm sorry I don't have it today. I can't talk for long, but I hope you're okay.
okay, you take care of yourself. Next time I come, next time I come back, I'll bring you some candy, okay? Bye. Kind of a quick EVP session, you know, but um, don't think we were really planning on making a full video here as much as we were just coming for a visit. Wanted to show y'all where we were at. Anyway, hope you liked it. It is a pretty place out here, and I think it's a great memorial for this poor woman that I don't even know her name. Um, just found out a little snippet about her and her daughters and hopefully we picked up something on the EVPs and I'll know more about that when I get home having to walk on rocks and watch where I'm going but we kind of wanted to bring you little bits pieces here and there of everywhere we okay, go so I hope you guys like this video I don't get to see your covered bridges from the 1900s very often so I wanted to bring you a sneak peek here, let you see this place, it is beautiful. Guys, it's Stacy with Misguided Road Trips, and I hope y'all can hear me over the sound of this beautiful waterfall. We are at a place called Grande Springs down in Florida near Ocala, and um, I have you know, wanted to see how pretty it is. It's unbelievable, actually. I never knew Florida had waterfalls like this, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's not going to be a long video. We did come here because there's a story that a little over 10 years ago, a young boy came out here with his family and they were camping. Unfortunately, on the last night of their stay, the little boy came swimming in one of these falls and he ended up drowning. And they say at dark, you can hear the little boy screaming for help. Now, we came out here, we were going to see if we could find anything and do an investigation, but unfortunately it's kind of crowded, they do close at 5 o'clock, so we can't get in here unless we're camping in the campground. Um, but I wanted to take a quick video and just show y'all what we were seeing, probably added in with another video that's short. I have some places from our Tennessee trip even that was just a little short clip, so I'm thinking I'm just going to put it in with that and let y'all see a few of the places that we've stopped by on our trips. But take a look at this, guys. That is so nice. comes down into this little pond and it's so clear. You can see all the way to the bottom and I would probably say that's probably about five to six feet deep down there. Now this is not the one that the little boy drowned in. I'm going to show you the one that that happened at in just a second. Mm -hmm. 
and see Patty filming. There's Patty. Hi guys. <laughs> it is really pretty down here. We're both amazed at the waterfalls in Florida. And they've got these little brick walkways that you can go on. And it's hot too, but look at that. Isn't that nice? There's a big swimming hole down at the bottom too where they will let you um, go swimming down there at Scott Off. They've got certain sections that you're allowed to swim at. And they said you could bring service dogs. We have Kali and her service dog, Luca, with us. But Luca can't get in the water, so we just decided we'd walk around and look instead of play in the water and have fun. This is the waterfall, guys. It is, I believe, 60 feet. And down at the bottom, there is a pool there that I believe, well, it's starting to thunder. That is where the little boy lost his life. They claim that you can hear his voice over the sound of the water. I'm not real sure about that. And of course, we can't get out here to take and see and check it out. So, but um, that's what our intentions was to do. But when we got here, it was a little different than what we thought. So, but yeah, we just wanted to show y'all a little bit about the area. How beautiful it is. I don't know what this is. This is like a little step up, but it doesn't go to anything, so I don't know what that used to be. It looks like a little walkway, but it looks like. I don't There's know. There's a walkway that used to be here many years ago when they built They built this mm -hmm. in like the early 1900s, wasn't it? I think so. I think oh, so. Yeah. It was. Oh. It is a beautiful place. I found another little walkway that heads back to the waterfall. I wanted to walk down here and see if maybe it gave us a better view. Look at this, guys. It looks like this used to be a walkway through here. I guess people still use it sometimes, but the old rock wall and how it's curved to go around and um this place is really old i believe it was in the early 1900s that it was established i lived here for all my life about an hour and a half two hours from here i never knew this place existed and y'all don't look at this because it's hot today this georgia girl is hot Let's see what we got here. Uh, mainly just a canopy of trees. See a little bit of the waterfall. I was hoping it would let us see the pond down there where the water actually goes into, but let's get a little glimpse further down where it runs off. And through the trees over there, you can see the bigger pond. I think I've lost everybody. I don't know where Patty and Kylie went, but... Those orange plants remind me of like a Venus flytrap. I don't know if y'all can see them that good. Let me see if I can zoom in. If y'all know what those are, comment below in the comment section and let me know what kind of plants these are. I keep waiting for them to open up and take a bite of something. As long as it's not me, I'm alright. <laughs> 
I don't want any plants to bite me. It is beautiful here, guys. I know I've said that several times, but honestly, it really is. In fact, I'm thinking there's a campground here, and I'm thinking about seeing if maybe um, Cliff wants to bring the camper back up sometime and uh, stay here. I think it's gorgeous. I think he would like it, too. So, Cliff, when you watch this video, let me know if you want to go camping here. These animals' cages were part of a zoo maintained during the days of Rainbow Springs attractions. Fox, bobcat, raccoons, birds, goats, and deer in captivity. Oh, so these were their cages, but they don't have the animals anymore. Like an old abandoned city. Wow. That's pretty cool. <laughs> kind of makes you wonder, guys, what was in here at one time. This looks like maybe turtles could have been in here. It's all overgrown now, of course, but it's got the wall with the little ledge that I guess you could stand or sit on. But it does seem like something that maybe they had turtles in. Over here is where the door was for it. And I wonder what they did with all the animals. Probably sold them to another zoo, different location. I am assuming that that's about the gist of it. So I am going to snoop through here. Okay guys, we have a problem. Either myself or Patty is lost. I'm claiming it's a Patty. But while I was on search for her, I saw this beautiful little Pond, run down, goes down here, goes under the bridge, comes out the other side, and runs on down the waterfall. waterfall. I wanted to show y'all that, but seriously. If y'all see Patty, tell her to stand still until I find her. Thanks. Alright guys, that was a little glimpse into Rainbow Springs in Vanilla, Florida. It's a beautiful place if you're ever around here and you just want to take your family out for some fun. It's a great place to visit. It's only $2 to get in. Beautiful. You can swim. The water is like 72 degrees because it's spring fed. There's the water fountains, there's the old zoo exhibit. Plus they have camping and all that, the amenities with the camping too. So it's really a pretty place. But um, no, we didn't do anything paranormal on this trip, but 
I had fun. Even though I'm hot, I had fun. So anyway, I uh, thank you all for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. And if you really like it, share it with all your friends so they can see it too. Alright guys, love every one of you. Bye.